Hello YouTube, Bill Faulkner with Faulkner Custom Rods and excited to be bringing you today uh, the first in a new type of video uh, and specifically new product reviews. Uh, so I've decided that uh, there's so many new and exciting things going on in the market, new products, things I think people need to know about that I'm going to start doing some product reviews and introductions as part of my channel. But a few words before we get started with that. First, uh, and to be abundantly clear, I do not receive or accept any promotional consideration or remuneration of any kind from any of the products that I'm reviewing. Uh, I'm just simply finding products that I think are really good, that are worth sharing, and, and doing an honest and unbiased review on them. You can take it for what it's worth. It's my opinion based on my experience, but my hope is that it'll be helpful to you, maybe save you some time in, in finding things that work well, and, and maybe even introduce some things you don't know are out there. Um, you know, the, the whole purpose of this channel is to educate and to help spread and grow the craft of rod building and also, frankly, the slow pitch jigging. Um, and, you know, as such, my opinions aren't for sale. They're mine. I'll share them and you get what you pay for. So just want to be very clear uh, as I launch into these new product reviews that that's the spirit in which that I'm doing it. It's not that I'm now for sale. It's that um, I want to share some things that I think are, are really good things. So without further ado, uh, I would like to introduce you today the John Hood thread packing tool. Uh, but first, a, a couple of words about John Hood. So um, I've gotten to know John in the last year through my channel. Um, he's a subscriber. Thank you, John. I appreciate people who like and subscribe. Um, Born and raised in Central Florida, spent a couple of decades in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in the uh, working in acid proofing and the refractory end of the business in the petrochemical industry. Um, moved to Fort Myers, Florida about 10 years ago, very enthusiastic angler, and, and took up rod building. Um, and since then, uh, he, he's been sort of, I, I think we have a lot in common in that he's in pursuit of the perfect rod, which you never quite get, but just really... Uh, focused on details and precision and sort of the predictability of outcomes. And so we hit it off, uh, very nice guy, very positive guy, fun guy to interact with. Um, and so we had corresponded on a few topics about uh, various videos and types of fishing. Um, and he emailed me a while back, it's been the spring of 2020, I think, and said, hey, uh, what thread packing tool are you using? Um, and I told him, uh, the, uh, Clemens tool that I've been using for a long time and he wanted to know where you could get them. And I said, well, the only place you can get them these days is from Billy Vavone and the Nerbs and sort of gave him that information, which I give to you all on the channel too. It's in some of the comments. Um, and, and then I didn't really hear anything else about it from him. And several months later, I think this was this past fall, maybe September, October, he sent me an email and said he thought he was onto something with a new thread packing tool. Um, and I said, hey, great, super excited for you. Hope you're happy. Sounds good. And he, he sort of sent me pictures and told me about what he had done to the, to the tool. And I, frankly, I was a little bit underwhelmed. Uh, I wasn't impressed. And uh, he offered to send me one to try. And I politely declined. said, I'm happy. I've been using the same one for 25 years. I don't need anything else. Um, and then one day, a uh, package shows up in the mail. And it's two tools. Uh, an eighth an eighth inch tool and a three sixteenths inch tool um, with his new improvement and he just said just try them just please just try it and I felt like I owed it to him since he sent it to me and I literally have not put the tool down since I picked it up it is the best tool I've ever used it is a better mouse trap and I would just it's just a game changer but I would warn you going into it when I show you this at first you're going to be surprised that I'm so excited about this tool because it's not going to seem like much of a big deal until you use it. And then, like I said, it's a game changer. So let's talk about the tool. Now, the traditional Clemens thread packing tool that I've been using all these years uh, that is materially similar to the NURBS tool that's available now is just a stainless steel rod that's been highly polished that has had one end machined into uh, an equilateral triangle. So there's three flats and three edges and a point. And you can use the point uh, and the edges to separate threads, uh, to move threads around, to justify threads, uh, to create a gap so you can pull your tie off against your razor blade, and you can use the entire polished uh, shaft of the tool to burnish. Um, and so one end of this tool is exactly like those tools and is really nothing new. The improvement on this tool versus the current NURBS tool is this tool comes ready to use highly polished right out of the package. The NURBS tool, exactly as they advertise, 
uh, is not ready for use out of the package, but has to be uh, sanded and polished in order to be ready to, for use. This one, as you can see, is, is perfect and ready to go right out of the package. In addition to being ready for use immediately, this tool is double-ended. And this is where it gets interesting. At the opposite end from the triangular point, John has machined a single large flat that ends not in a sharp point or a round edge, but actually in a square edge. You can see it here. And uh, it is an extremely useful tool. It will do things that you cannot do with the triangular end of the tool. Uh, and I'm just in love with it. So let's look at some practical examples of how to use it. Obviously, it works very well as a thread packing tool. If you put the flat side down to pack your thread, you've literally never had thread packed more easily. The highly polished shaft of the tool uh, is excellent for burnishing. And here we're burnishing the base wrap of a tiger. Um, and when it comes to, you know, packing, getting even edges and packing thread tight. So here we're using a kind of a light sky blue Fuji no CP size A thread uh, and no CPs in light colors are trouble on dark blanks. It's just really hard to get a uniform color, not get gaps or splotches, but this is how you do it. You see how well by putting the flat in the, I'm using the end opposite the triangle end, so the John Hood end, and I'm putting the flat down against the blank and it just makes it incredibly easy using my left thumbnail on one side and the packing tool on the other side to just get these wraps so tight, there's absolutely no gap in between them. And I can also use it on the other side to sort of justify the ends of the wrap. And you see, I just, I get little gaps on top of the guide foot or beside it. We're gonna trim this tag in now. I'm just able to pack them really tight. So go a few wraps and you can see, even though I've got good thread tension and I'm being careful, there's gaps, right? Um, but I just put that flat side down against the blank and let it ride back against the thread and just packs it perfectly every single time. Now if I fast forward to the end of this wrap, again, you see how uniform and perfect it is even before burnishing. Um, and now I'm gonna do a security wrap behind this guide. I'm gonna wrap all the way up the foot. This is a Fuji CCLDB6, but whatever guide you use, you wrap all the way up until the thread starts to climb the foot. And you can see here, even when I pack it back, you can see that that thread's climbing. That means I've gone too far, so I'm going to back up a wrap and go behind the guide. A second time, and a third time, and that's generally good. Now, this is where this tool really shines, and you can't do this with the triangular tool. Well, let's cut off this uh, tag end and, and finish the tie off of this wrap. So I, I use the hood end of the tool to open my thread, my tie off loop. Put my tag in through there, pull it through, and I'm just holding the thread down with my thumbnail to keep it straight. Now we're going to pull up on our tag end, insert the triangular into the tool, and create a gap. Use a, sing a sharp razor blade. This one's a single edge, or I'm sorry, a double edge, uh, to just lay down flat against the wrap, pull the thread against it, and you see we get a good clean cut, and then we're able to burnish that wrap because it was so nicely packed. We're going to get a very even and uniform color. But here comes the genius. Take the hood end flat side down and that flat edge, push your wraps up under that guide and it fits even up under a size six on a blank this large. You can see we can use that tool to just easily justify the threads and push them back in, either the square end at the tip of the tool or the long edge on the side of the tool. Just works really, really well. And you couldn't do it with a triangular tool, but you can do it with the hood end, the flat end of this tool. So here I'm going to show you some of the value of the tool on a, a much larger guide. Um, we're getting our wrap started here, trying to keep the edge really straight. But again, if it's not perfectly straight, here comes the tool. Again, flat side of the hood end down against the blank. And just gently push. And again, I've stayed with this very light colored NCP thread because it just really shows flaws. And if you've worked with it much, you know what I mean. It, it just, you, you can't have... Uh, any variation in tension or packing of the thread or any gaps at all, or it'll either make the thread look uneven in color or it will uh, show the gaps, right? So trim off our tag in here and we're going to wrap up this guide. So um, you always want to pack your wraps tightly uh, and it makes for stronger wraps. 
as well as better looking wraps. But you just see how precisely I'm able to use the end of this tool. And if I need to get really close up next to the guide, I can just use way out by the end near the tip. If I can use, like there you see me using kind of the middle of it. But just by adjusting which part of the tool you use, you're able to reach and effectively put pressure on the thread in whatever direction you need, wherever you need it. And I've been using the Clemens style tool with the triangular end for 25 years, but every once in a while I will slip and puncture a thread or cut a thread or fray a thread, even though my tool is very polished. Um, and it's just by virtue of working with that sharp triangle in that point. There's nothing sharp on this tool and that combined this hood into the tool and that combined with the shape of it just makes it, it's just so much easier to work with. And I know you're probably looking at this going, ah, you're packing, you could do that with the other end. It doesn't look like a big deal. But until you try this tool, until you put it in your hands, um, it's just really spectacular. And the fact that it comes with this high a polish right out of the package, uh, ready to go. Um, I'm used to having to doctor these. You know, I'm picky. I make my own spatulas because I can't get one to suit me. This is the best tool I've ever used exactly as John shipped it in the mail to me. So um, here we're packing and you see it very effectively packs on top of the guide foot or anywhere around the rod blank. So you always wanna pack these wraps, get them really, really tight. I'm sort of building to the point. This, this tool solved a problem that I've literally never been able to solve. And again, I'm talking about extreme attention to detail and I'm talking about being really picky how your wraps look. But as we get to the end of this, I'm packing uh, every turn of this thread the whole way we go. I'm going to put in my tie-off loop here. This is 20-pound Toro Tamer Holocore. It Literally, I've probably been using that tie-off loop for five years. They do not ever tear or wear out when you use that stuff. It's the best tie-off material ever. So as I wrap, I keep packing back uh, away from the guide ring and... The, when you pack enough to get a really good uniform color, like you see how solid and blue this is. There are no gaps. This looks awesome. It almost looks painted on. An NCP wrap will almost look painted. And you see how precisely I can get right up next to the guide with the edge of this tool. It's just a brilliant shape. We're going to trim off our tag in and pull this through here. So again, I'm using the hood into the loop. Not sharp at all. Point won't catch. In my tie-off loop, insert my thread and we're going to pull it under. Use the thumbnail to keep it from, well, I didn't even have to bother there. Now I switch to the triangle end like we always have. I'll use one edge of that to create a gap. Then we put the razor blade next against the wrap. Actually I missed by one thread. You see this is a really fine tool. You see I'm able to move just one thread, get the gap right, lay it flat against the wrap, pull the thread into the blade, no risk of cutting thread, no risk of cutting the blank, it's great. So now we're gonna go around and justify the ends, but it's gonna be really hard to get on camera. I'm probably gonna have to zoom in and hopefully you can see it, but wrap looks good, you can't see through it, color's very even, but if you look close, because I've been packing, let me see if I can zoom in on this, the threads are not crossed over, but they're, they're sort of misaligned and bumpy where they've been packed and compacted together. You see that? And this always happens with larger size guides for me. When I'm packing tight, you get that unevenness and I've never been able to fix it. But watch this. You use the edge of that flat tool, gone. Do you see that? Now here we have it again on this side. Gone. I've never, I cannot do that with the triangle end. I cannot do that with any other burnishing tool. I cannot do that with my fingernail. Epic. And you see now we have not only a tightly packed wrap, but it's absolutely smooth. Look at that. All those wrinkles, all those places where it almost looked like the thread was wrapped over each other are gone. This thing is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You're right, John. You told me so. Thanks for a great tool. So if you want to order one of these, um, send an email to John Allison Creations. You see it here on the screen at gmail.com. The cost is, uh, at time of release of this video, is $25 plus shipping for an eighth inch tool and $35 plus shipping for a 3 16th inch tool uh, and PayPal only, please. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this tool helps you guys as much as it's helped me. And uh, until the next time, tight wraps. Talk soon.